Demogorgon! The Demogorgon! That head twitch just freaking breaks arm. Done. You're f***ed. Oh, Netflix. You know it's gonna be good. Stranger Things. Oh, yes. <gasps> yes! I don't know the worst thing that's ever happened here in the four years I've been working here. Oh, this is my favorite thing ever. I've never seen this before. I know what it is. Is it bad I haven't seen the we first one still? I haven't finished season one Eleanor yet, guys. It was when an owl <laughs> attacked Eleanor Gillespie's head because it thought oh. that her hair was a nest. This is gonna be scary. Down. Oh! Shit's going down! <sighs> oh yeah, man. It's like a dark version of Home Alone. This show gave me so much anxiety the whole time. 99 out of 100 times, kid goes missing. The kid is with a parent or a relative. What about the other time? What? You said not. This show is so good. What about the other time? The one! <gasps> okay, so something crazy does go down. So good. Eleven. I love her. I think she knows what happened to her. The kids in the show are so cute. They're so the great. Oh my god, that scene right the there. And the girl. Eleven, such a badass. This is one of the best shows ever. She can't have gone far. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I'm just reliving it now. This looks so hype. Whoa! Oh, f Maybe Will saw something that he shouldn't have. Spoiler, Will definitely saw something he shouldn't have. <laughs> Stranger Things. I'm so lit for season two, dude. I can't wait for season two. The hype around the show is insane. Probably the most I've seen for an Netflix show or a show in general for a very long time. It's a pretty cool plot. I like uh, the like retro like style they took about it, playing tabletop games and stuff like that. I like that kind of narrative so it hooks all us nerdy kids into it. Look on my ego. Oh ego. yes, the trailer for season two. Look on my ego. You like on my ego. This is season two, huh? Oh my god! Yes. Ghostbusters. This is like Ghostbusters and the Sixth Sense put together. Upside down. Oh my gosh. Dude! That's fing insane, dude. This has to be one of the best theme songs. Halloween? That's so far away. I'm so excited, you have no idea! What could Stranger Things 2 possibly have in store for us? I thought season one was f***ing crazy. Season two, I'm ready for you. So we're now gonna show you some additional clips from the first season of Stranger Things. Okay. Oh yay, something is coming. A shadow grows on the wall behind you, swallowing you in darkness. He's so cute. Yeah. These it's kids are here. so what talented. What is, what is it? What if it's the Demogorgon? I recognize all these kids from like their we're interviews so and stuff. If we're so screwed if it's the Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. The Demogorgon. Dude. We're a deep shit. What a dick of a dungeon master. They're playing D and D, right? My friends and I play D and D, and I like this brought D and D back into the realm of popularity. Okay. This had to have been one of the best scenes. Talk to me, where are you? The letters on the wall quickly like became oh, good, one of the good, like good, staples good. of the show. Good, good, good. That's good, come on, come on. I... Oh man, this gave me goosebumps when I saw this. I was like, oh my God. T-H-E-R-E. -E. That would freak me out so Here. badly. What should I do? How do I get to you? Oh God. How, how do I find you? What should I do? They don't like that. What should I do? I'd have been like, nope. All right, see you later, Will. I'm, I'm done. That scene was really tense. Because it, it touched my heart, because I'm like, yo, Will's trying to talk to his mom. Let him go! Jump. This scene, oh Toothless my goodness. Here. Toothless here gets an early trip to the dentist. No! no. Those kids are such little go. dicks. I hated them. Five! Four! Three! 
this fucking scene had me on the edge of my seat, dude. What the f That kid's like, f didn't think you'd do it. Holy shit. What's going on? Oh, f oh. oh That was the best. Oh, so badass! This is the Waffle Kid. Eleven coming in clutch. My girl Eleven. Whoa. This little girl is badass. <laughs> that head twitch just freaking arm. breaks arm. Done. Okay. You're fed. You broke that arm. My arm. Okay. That was insane. I couldn't believe when I saw that. Those are only a taste of how fantastic this show is. This is one of the best written Netflix shows that's out there right now. I love it. If anyone's watching this and you haven't seen it yet, watch it. That was really cool and intense. I feel like maybe I should actually watch it. So you've never seen the show before. Do these clips make you want to check it out? They make me scared. And so no. <laughs> yes, 100%. I've already wanted to check it out, but these kind of like pushed me over the edge where it's like, okay, you're obligated to now. I know once I start watching, it's just gonna be bad. It's gonna be like 4 a.m. and I'm like, yo, I haven't started homework and this assignment's due in a couple hours. So people refer to this program as a TV show when it never actually aired on television because the show is only on Netflix. Can you talk about how your generation has been among the first to have the concept of a TV show, not actually mean that it will be on television? and what you think this is about the future of entertainment. Oh, I am so excited about that. I think that is the coolest yeah. thing ever. Netflix has books their own aren't be books channel anymore. now. I mean, they're basically their own. And thing. they're killing it, though. They yeah. are so, oh, they're doing so They well. have so many good shows, and um, it's just like Hulu. They have Hulu has all their exclusive stuff. It's definitely all going to start going on to, like, those kind of platforms rather than TV. I don't watch TV a lot. I watch Netflix, and I think that's just kind of how we are with, like, immediate gratification. We want all of all 17 episodes of the season all at once. I like the the straight to Netflix shows cuz it's it's kind of like our generation straight to VHS. Actual television at some point is going to start to die out because of this. I know so many people who don't even have cable. They just like rely on Netflix and Hulu and Amazon. One of the biggest goals of media has always been to um, gain a larger audience and really, really spread spread out, you know, so you can grab as many people as you can. And that's what the internet is able to do. These online like show carriers like Netflix and Hulu, they're able to reach these large audiences and they don't even have to sign up for like a cable provider. TV is and the internet are going to just merge into one big blob of entertainment and I feel like this is a good step towards it because the internet has a lot of uh, aspects that TV can't do, and TV has the money that the internet doesn't really have. My generation, we consider this a TV show because it's done with such high quality, um, just like a TV show, and these stars are bigger than a lot of TV stars. I feel like it's heading in the direction we are as a society, where it's like, most of our social life and most of our entertainment comes through online. So one thing that many people say they love about the TV series is the kids in the cast. They're so, they're so good. They're fantastic actors. Yeah, they're awesome. They themselves have become basically viral sensations even outside of the show. What about these kids do you think makes people like them so much? I think it's because the cuteness factor. They're just so cute and amazingly talented. It's so hard for me to understand how at such a young age you can be that good at acting. They're so carefree Happy. and they're funny. You don't see the interaction with the fans like you do from these kids. They're just like regular kids and it sort of just makes it seem like you could be in their situation. A lot of times with child stars, it's like people see aspects of themselves in that child. It's kind of like watching you grow up. Finally, if there is someone watching right now who hasn't seen the series and is on the fence about whether they want to watch it or not, what do you want to say to them? If you guys don't like being scared, I don't suggest Stranger Things. You gotta watch the show. It's a masterpiece. If you guys aren't watching Stranger Things, you gotta get your shit together. Cause that's a strange thing that you're not watching Stranger Things. It's time for me to say this. Guys, I'm sorry that I haven't been watching Stranger Things. I need to get caught up. I'm talking to myself now through the camera. Like, Tom, just get off your stupid lazy butt and sit on that couch and do yourself a favor. <laughs> and be lazy and watch it. Watch it, now. I, there's no reason why you shouldn't watch it. You need to watch it. It is one of the best series of this generation, period.
That's all there is to it. Watch the f***ing show. Thanks for watching this episode of College Kids React. We really appreciate it. Subscribe. we got new React episodes across all generations four times a week. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of College Kids React, and we have plenty more episodes for you to watch after this, so go ahead and click down below.